All right, guys, we're going to try a picture on this. Let's get everybody one, please. All right, guys, pictures up. Pictures up. Pictures up. Let's roll sound. Rolling. Rolling. Sound speed. Camera speed. Two. Awesome. Take two. Mark. Set. And action. Get her! Shalom, shalom, everyone. Uh, this is our current of the month portion of my take with Rosh Yaakov Abraham. I know many of you guys have been waiting for this for a while so we can get into the current of the month. Uh, so we're going to get into it. It was really hard this month coming up with a current because there were so many people doing current like activities. And I was just like, okay. Who am I going to give this current of the month to? And there's one entity that stood out to be the current of the month was a rental car place in Dubai. The reason why they're getting the current of the month is because of this young lady right here. This young lady name is Tiara Allen. Tiara Allen is a truck driver from um, America. I believe she's in from the Houston area. And... Uh, recently uh, traveled, I believe, to L.A. to drive trucks there and had little incidents happen there that she was planning a trip to Dubai. So right after her incident that she had there where this guy was harassing her and the company didn't support her, didn't support her at all, and let the guy take advantage of her. Um, she kind of went on a trip to Dubai with her mom and, and some friends. And while she was in Dubai, it seemed like everything was going well. She even was talking about becoming a truck driver there. And things went kind of left when um, a mom or a friend, one of them was driving this rental car. Um, I'm believing they may have been on their way to the airport because a passport and everything was in the car. The car got in an accident. Now, mind you, she wasn't responsible for the accident. She was a passenger. Apparently, after leaving the hospital or wherever they were at, she remember, She realized, like, oh, my goodness, my passport and all my belongings is still in this. My passport and all my belongings is still in this rental car. What am I going to do? I got to get my stuff out of this rental car. She goes to the rental car people. Right. Goes to the rental car people. Uh, the people that Dubai is saying is the best place to go. You want a rental car, you know? You go to this place right here. You can get the best rental. Hey, these people right here, right? That the Dubai is saying is the best rental place ever. Right? Now, I'm not sure if it was actually this place, but it was one of these places. They got many places that they advertise for in Dubai to rent cars. It's the best way to get around the city. You gotta get this rental car, right? So. She's at this spot with this rental car. While she's there getting this, uh, uh, trying to get her belongings out the rental car, the guy and the police become belligerent. But I want you to understand this. The guy becomes belligerent with her. And in being belligerent with her, he began to yell and be out of control. And from the accounts of others that was around, she tried to get away from this guy. Him and others began to follow her around yelling. She finally had enough and yelled back. Now, what was the yelling about? They told her that she had to pay thousands of dollars to get her belongings. Her belongings out of this car. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? That is called extortion. They said in order to get 
your stuff out of this car, you got to pay thousands of dollars. That's extortion. She refused and got angry. Now, most people say, you got to know the customs. You got to know how to handle yourself. This, that, other. I don't care what kind of customs you got to know or how you got to be able to handle yourself. If somebody told you, you had to give them thousands of dollars to get your belongings, you telling me you're just going to be calm and relax and say, I got to know the customs and how to handle myself. Huh? Or is you going to get mad and say, that's my stuff and you stealing it. That's my stuff and you extorting me to get it back. That's what I want you guys to think about, right? Because that's the situation that was happening. Here, they had her belongings. I seen dudes making videos. She had a big mouth. She needed to shut up. That's the problem with the black woman. Black woman need to learn to cut a mo. Black woman need to learn to shut up. Saying all this crazy stuff out there, mouth. And I'm sitting there thinking, dude, if it was you, would you shut up? If it was you, let's get this straight. If it was you, and people had your stuff, and told you you wasn't going to get your stuff back unless you gave them thousands of dollars, would you calmly sit there and say, I got to know the, the, the whole the land work? Huh? Or would you be mad and say, well, wait a minute, you don't give me my stuff. Is you crazy? It's easy for these pro uh, uh, black red pill dudes running around taunting all this crazy mess about sister need to learn to be in her place and keep her mouth shut and they got rules over there for women to run their mouth and blah 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 I'm like y'all talking all this dumb mess when you know good and well if somebody was extorting you for your stuff you would not calmly sit there and say I gotta learn the laws of the land You'd be like, dude, give me my stuff. It's mine. I paid money for it. And you want me to give you thousands of dollars to get it back? But that was the case. So she did what anybody would do. I would have raised my voice. I would have the modified and went off. Do you think you want to take my stuff from me? You crazy? Five minutes later. Then I get locked up. For yelling. That's what happened. She got mad. Yelled. They said, up, oh, going to jail. An international nonprofit organization coming to the aid of a Houston woman who is being detained in Dubai. Only on Fox, we recently told you about Tierra Young Allen. She was charged with yelling at a rental car agent over in Dubai. Fox 26's Domily Keith joins us live with this update. Domily. Crazy. Yeah, the founder of the London-based not-for-profit organization that's now helping to free Tierra Young Allen there in Dubai and hoping to get her back to the United States. She says she believes what's happening. All right, so you see this situation right here. This lady says it goes beyond a law being enforced. So all those people say they just enforcing the law. And this that out, she's going to expose as more than just a law being enforced. This and this is an extortion racket that these people in Dubai have been doing for a minute, just trying to get away with it. And this woman from London had to come out and speak on this in behalf of Tierra. Notice America is on that kind list too, because America ain't do all they could do to fight for. They got some woman from an organization in London fighting for. Because they, they watch as she explains, this is something that Dubai is known for doing. They known for doing this and inciting you to break this law because they try to extort you for money. But we want to go over there. Oh, got to go to Dubai. You got to go to Dubai. The agency actually said to her, they dropped the police case if she paid money. 
So it's a form of extortion and blackmail, and it's extremely exactly. common with exactly. these rental car agencies. Obviously, Rada Sterling does not have proof of a scheme against 29-year-old Tiara Young Allen, but Sterling says she's seen it before since founding the nonprofit group detained in Dubai 15 years ago. She started this group 15 years ago, so this is not the first time she's seen anything like this happening in Dubai. She's been doing this for 15 years. Dealing with this type of mess that's happening in Dubai. But all these Negroes, because they don't, because they mad about the black woman this and the black woman that was running around. Tell her, she need to learn the rules of Dubai. You need to learn the rules. And they had nothing to do with the rules. They was trying to get the money out from the very beginning. <laughs> We've dealt with over 20,000 cases of injustice in the UAE. 20,000 cases. Paris is just one. So for all those people that say she need to learn the rules and know how to shut up, the black woman need to blah, 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 and all this dumb mess that they try to say, that wasn't even a case. She said they done dealt with over 20,000 cases in the past 15 years of something like this happening with people in Dubai. And wider Gulf region. Allen is not in jail, but her passport was taken in April. She isn't allowed to leave Dubai since she's being investigated after allegedly raising her voice at a rental car agent. Crazy. That's, that was the whole point behind the thing in the beginning the whole point behind the thing in the beginning was we want her to be able to pay so we want to make it real uncomfortable for her so she'll know next time just keep her mouth shut and pay and and this type of stuff won't happen and that's what it was all about you know and 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 but but these guys running around oh no uh, the black woman need to learn this, that, and the others and saying crazy stuff that it ain't had nothing to do with. Nothing to do with any of that stuff at all. She's being charged for shouting, and that's it, which is actually a crime technically under the UAE laws. It's uh, offensive behaviour, and it can warrant up to two years in prison. This started after Alan's mom says her daughter was a passenger in a rental car and the driver had a wreck. She then went to the rental car company to get her belongings left in the vehicle. She was met with uh, two men at the rental car agency who were quite aggressive, who said that she couldn't have her possessions back. And then she says they started intimidating her and following her out. And so she shouted back at them to stop, to leave her alone. Sterling says she believes Allen and others are baited into certain behavior, which she says just does not happen with major rental car companies there. It's usually the luxury rental car or the private rental car companies, <laughs> and they have a pattern of behavior <laughs> of taking allegations against their customers, holding <laughs> their passports uh, at the front desk and provoking them. Sterling says... See? That's what I'm saying. So, you know how it is. I can see people now sitting back talking about, oh, I will do this, I will do that. Please, if somebody's sitting there provoking you, I mean, sitting there provoking you, you sitting there angry because they, cause they, they withholding your belongings from you and they provoking you. Are you telling me you just be calm and relaxed and act like ain't nothing happening? Get out of here. I don't care who you think you are. I ain't going to play that dumb game and lie. I'm not going to be calm and relaxed. If you're trying to steal my stuff. And are telling me I got to give you thousands of dollars to get my stuff back. You crazy. Think I'm going to just be, oh, I just got to be calm. Because I got to know the laws of that land. Then I don't need to be in that land. 
Unlike Allen, she was recently contacted by other Americans who did pay. But they paid over twenty thousand dollars to this rental car company that they didn't own. Over twenty thousand so dollars. Again and again. Over twenty thousand dollars. Over twenty thousand dollars. People had to pay. I said, hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. It's it's okay. It's all right, and all is good mess. Y'all crazy. Now, Sterling and Allen's family are soliciting help from Texas lawmakers. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee confirms she's working to assist. And Senator Ted Cruz's office says in part, quote, we have contacted the Department of State about the case and will continue to gather details and engage until Miss Allen is returned home to her family. Hmm, think about that. We contacted this, we did this, that, and other. Get out of here. Yeah, what's, what's, what's that doing? The only like, people that really was helping her and, and really brought attention to her with this was some people from London. America dropped the ball. I'm contacting people from the State Department. Man, shut up. <laughs> and we will keep you updated on this case about a Houston woman who's being detained in Dubai. Reporting live, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News. Now rewind, Nima. <laughs> Now, the thing is, they let her out the jail. But this is when the country, this is when a city of Dubai becomes a kind or included in a kind. Because instead of them saying, you know what? We're going to be just. We understand that this place is extorting you. You're a tourist. We want people to come here and keep giving us their money. We can't let this happen. We can't let this go down like that. No, they let it go down like that. Nobody let it down like that because she black. I'm going to tell you why. I guarantee if this was a white woman and she got angry about her luggage and she did a kind move, they would not have locked her up. They would have explained to her, ma'am, 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 ma'am. I feel like... We as black people already get disrespected here in America. Why are we going other places so other people can disrespect us there? A lot of people say you don't want to You don't want to travel, Roshan. No, I'm not pressed. I'm not pressed to go nowhere where people are gonna disrespect me. I'm supposed to be quiet and timid and can't say nothing because it's their country and their rules. Then I won't be in your country with your rules. Because I'm not going to let you just run over me and I'm supposed to be quiet and sit with my head down. I can't say nothing because they going to do this and that to me. Get out of here. But that's the situation we see here. There was many Negroes on platforms all across YouTube sitting there making it like she just got to learn to keep her mouth shut. Damn coons. I got to do a coon analysis and a coon screening. It only takes a little bit of white brainwash to activate the coon chip. And I'm sitting there thinking, am I the only one missing this? I'm confused. Am I the only one missing that they was trying to steal her stuff? What was she supposed to do? She wasn't there with no man. She was there with her mom, her mother and her and her home for her home girl. It was a women's trip. She wasn't there with no man. Well, next time when she travels, she need to have a man with her. There's always somebody saying something stupid. What if the man was with her? He got boisterous. He got locked up too. Then what? Did you think about that one, buddy? What if a man was with her and he got boisterous and loud and he locked his black butt up too? Then what? He shouldn't have got, shouldn't have tried to defend her. Always, they always got something extra to say. Why not? We shouldn't be going over here spending money with people that don't care nothing about you. Why not that? Why not? Why spend money with people that don't care nothing about you, don't like you, don't want you around them, but you want to spend money with them and love them? You ain't got to worry about my money. Because I ain't going to give none of it to you. <laughs> Crazy. You ain't got to worry about that, kid. <laughs> I just don't lie. I just feel like it's an injustice and, and, and it really surprised me with people saying that and there's still going to be people after they're still running their black butts over to Dubai 
as if nothing happened. That's why they mistreat us and treat us like trash, right? We got to learn, don't spend your money with them. Boycott them. Don't spend your money with them. Don't do nothing with them. I guarantee if, if people start doing that, and I mean celebrities and everybody, them black celebrities and all them, I guarantee that I shut all that down. And they issue apologies quick as hell. But anyway, she got home. You know how she got home? The city of Dubai made her pay 1000 made her pay uh, $1,300, right? It was $13,000. Made her pay like $1,300 and some change. So they still got the money out of her. The money she didn't want to get, they smacked, they, they basically smacked on the wrist and said, we're going to lock you up. But then they took her out of the jail and just had her detained and said, we're not going to let you leave our country until you give us this money. So they still got the money out of her. Still got the money out of it. Then after getting the money out of saying, we banned you from coming back here ever. Good riddance, we'll want to come back to you anyway. Number one. And I'm advising people not to go to you at all. So if you're looking at this, you're looking at this, tell they know how to treat you. Why go there and spend money with them? Now, I'm not saying every place that you travel to is a bad place. I can't say that. I know many people that travel to many places and it was good. All right? But I'm just saying, let's be realistic and honest. And stop playing these... It must have been something the black person did wrong game. Or well, if the black person wouldn't have did this, that wouldn't have happened. If the black, and then we play those games with the police. If the black person listened to the police, he wouldn't get shot. They show the black people listen, police still get shot. If the black person would have listened to the police, this wouldn't happen to him. They show the black person doing that, it still happened to him. If the black person would have did, I'm like, golly. So every time something happens, if the black person would have did this, then that wouldn't have happened. Get out of here. It's the same situation right here. Same situation right here. More breaking news just into our newsroom. The Houston TikTok influencer who was stuck in Dubai is now free and on her way home. Her flight departed about 40 minutes ago. We've learned that she paid about 1300 US dollars to the police so that she could leave. We told you last month, Tiara Allen had been stuck in Dubai since May after she got into a dispute with a car rental agency. Allen is now banned from returning to Dubai. But there you go. That is the update. She is now free and on her way back. Now, hmm. why would I want to go back? You banned me. I wasn't planning on coming back anyway. Oh, you're banned from coming back. <laughs> you really think I want to come back for? <laughs> it wouldn't could be me. I'd be like, good riddance. I don't want to come back to y'all stupid uh, city or country no more ever in life. <laughs> I banned you from coming back. Oh, man, I'm so hurt. Have y'all extorted me and took money from me? I really want to come back so y'all can do it all over again. I really want to relive. Get out of here. Let me just say this. I am very happy that she is released. I know that a lot of guys feel like, hey, listen, you know, that's what she gets. She, she should learn what she does. Modern women... You know, and I get all of that. Yeah, again, that's good. Modern women, the modern black woman, she need to learn. What are you talking about? They would have did the same thing to you too, fool. Hey, <laughs> oh my goodness, gracious alive. I don't, it don't matter about the law. Go over there and think you're going to raise up on these dudes there in their country and see what's going to happen to you. Get out of here. Right, because... A lot of sisters could, you know, definitely be out of line and things like that. But I want brothers to think about something and be honest about it. What if this was your daughter? Um, if this was your child, no matter how much of a buffoon you thought that person was, you would want your child or your cousin or your sister to come back home, right? Of course we would. We all have people in our family. I don't necessarily agree with O'Shea's uh, 
commentary on this part because I feel like we still giving Dubai in a car rental place a pass. I can't give Dubai in a car rental place a pass. Can't get him a pass. They was wrong. He did something wrong. With any kind of law you got, you got to have justice with a law. Just because you got a law don't mean you just run with that law. You got to have justice with a law. He was wrong. So let's bring Dubai back up to the stage. Dubai, you went along with your car rental place to extort this young lady $1,360 just to get her belongings back from a vehicle. Probably would have wanted more money than that, but all this attention got brought on to you and it is through America, and then London got involved, and then it's like, okay, well, she need to give us something so we can kind of save face. And then trying to save face, y'all didn't. Y'all lost face. So to buy, you are the current of the month. Unanimously, you are the weakest link. Goodbye.